Hello, Selkies and Snow Bunnies. My name is TB's Guy, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World Iceborne, which I finally have determined to find some time to actually play this goddamn game because I keep meaning to, and then I also just like, oh no, I need to do the other thing in the game. Let's screw it. Let's hunt some monsters. Yeah, monsters. Yeah, hunt them. Yes. And the first thing we're supposed to do, uh, apparently is to part on an expedition to the Hoarfrost Reach, which should be interesting. Now, I am, well, as you'll know if you followed me playing Monster Hunter at any time, I'm not great at the game at the best of times, and it's been a good long while since the last time I played, so now I'm probably less great at it, frankly. <laughs> I feel like probably my skills have atrophied at least somewhat. I'm gonna have to re remember how to do a lot of stuff, especially the grappling hook stuff that they added to this game, which is probably gonna be important, so I should learn how to how to how 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 to do it. Our mission is to secure a route for the supply convoy. Now that was a long loading screen. Why can I only walk very slowly? Uh, uh. Oh, cutscenes. Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> and pingus. Cool. I'm gonna eat some food, cause. I've actually gotten pretty good at oh come on! Rocks out here. Darn it. Still can't hold a candle to the tracker, though. She's a free climbing pro. It's amazing that she was the first one to ever scale the Great Ravine. Yes. Oh boy, sure can't wait to see how the handler gets herself in trouble somehow and needs to be saved by me so that I, c I can be the hero. I don't like being so cynical about it, but honestly, <laughs> the game has been very consistent about that. Over there, tracks. Haven't seen any like these before. They lead this way. Dun, 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 dun. What kind of big, big monster is gonna try and kill me? Those are cute. Look at those cute little things. Adorable. Where the hell's my net? There it is. Looks like the path is. You're coming with me. <laughs> Could be the work of whatever's left these tracks. Yes. completely blocked if only I was any good at climbing <laughs> what did this uh. is that good Ooh. 
Ooh. Him large. So it seems to be using the animation rig and And a lot of the animation from the Anjanath. Hello. What can you do? I'm just gonna hold off on close combat. Maybe for the Bareth as well, actually. So, legs good. If when you hit him. Yep, tail swipe, as you would imagine. I do like the the facial design of the thing. Cause like it, because you have this big like body that's clearly got this. Oh shit! Okay, he does. Ah. Okay, please don't do that. Whoa. Because you have this big like. Oh, turf war. Thanks for the help. Um. I'll just get out of your way. Oh no, you two you two can just I'm 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 just over here being inconspicuous. Don't worry about me. Totally cool. But anyway, it has design elements of um rather than of like a lizard creature, like a T-Rex or whatever, which are not lizards, they're birds, but whatever. Um, it has design elements from like a, it's gonna do the rock thing. Oh yes, it is. Design elements from your elks and moose and like big hornet fuzzy Arctic. Oh no, I've got the ice thing on me, god damn it. Your big fuzzy hornets, uh, uh oh. Ungulates is the word I was looking for. Okay. It's days like this that I kind of wish I had gone for like the sword and shield or something, like something faster. Because <laughs> these boys are a little bit unforgiving with their, uh... Oh, it's back! Great. This is a slightly inconvenient situation, but uh, if you two could just punch each other in the face for a while. Oh, good! A third! Wait, is that even a monster, or is that just a bit one of the big, uh... Friendly prey species. Okay. Looks like it's just a prey. Ha! Hello! Could you fight the thing? Is that be good? Man, can I just have a clean hunt <laughs> instead of all this? Would you kindly just ignore me? Okay, good. Now you. Swim. Okay, they're going after. It. Okay, fine. Uh, am I gonna have to deal with both of these jerks? Okay, I should probably. Uh, do I not have a? I don't have the heat potion. Uh, I'm an idiot. I am a fool. Okay, hit you with a thing, and up, don't get hit with a thing, and hit you with a thing. Ha ha ha, yes. Yeah. 
man, my Bloodborne reflexes are screwing me over a little bit here. <laughs> oh, he's gonna do a tail thing. Nope. Ooh. Oh, big tree. Yeah, Okay, he does the same thing with the tree that he does with the boulders, I see. Is what he does. Thanks for the healing, little buddy. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Nope. Wonder if I can break those horns. And then he can't do that anymore. That would be nice. Ow. Okay, that's his swipe. Whip! Whoo! Okay. Alright. Okay, big boy. Ow. Oh god, it's here again! Oh no, 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 it's leaving. Good. Okay, well, I might be able to handle you. No, 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 now it's here again. Now it wants to fight. God damn it. Really? Well, at least it wants to fight it and not me. Come on, get out of my way! Do I have to hunt you first? Is that it? Like, are you just gonna keep driving it away so that I have to... Eh... Go away! <laughs> Just let me have a hunt, like, instead of fucking you butting in like an unwelcome guest at dinner. Okay, finally they're buggering off. Well, kinda. Stop going in the right same direction, you jerks! The hell! Uh... Yes. Piss off. Whoa! Okay. I should probably have realized that would be breakable. stuffed again. Time to be careful about my stamina. At least poison works. Oof. Oof. Okay, time to hit you as much as I can. Yeah! That worked. Look for an opportunity to sharpen. Okay, finally making some progress on this guy. Give me your footprints. Gimme, 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 gimme. No! Stop going to see the thing, you dumbass! Okay, he's going away. Hello! Uh-oh, no! Yeah. Kinda actually did see that coming, but uh... Come on back. There you go. And slam it down. Like an idiot. Yes. Now, stab you in the legs! Ha! Uh-oh. Stab you in the legs! Uh-oh! Ow. Don't do that. Very rude. Mean. Inconsiderate. I want a hat with your horns on it.
Also, please get poisoned again. It would be convenient for me. Uh, he's gonna charge one more time. And lose the rock. Excellent. Uh, is it just me or is there something happening there? Did, did, did he just... Did he just change the whole terrain? Whoop. Uh-oh. He basically opened like a cave. Oh, come on! Go somewhere else! Do another thing! Honestly, I'm trying to have a moment with my friend here. And you just keep butting in. And I frankly don't appreciate it. Well, beggars can't be choosers. Fine. Get into a turf war again, I'd like that. No? Cool, it's leaving. Hello. Uh, deep snow. Deep snow, deep snow, deep snow. Deep snow bad. At least I can roll in it. rock. Very big rock. Enough with the big rock. Yes, tired is good. I like tired. Tail swipe? Nope. Stompy stomp. Something, something. Uh oh. Hey. How you doing? Got some damage in that something. Oh no. Oh no! Ow. Oh, it's here again! Well, at least they're pissed off at each other. That's something. I wonder if we can do that on his head. Damn fish. Oh well, at least they'll do damage to each other. While I stand here. And sharpen. Huh. 
How much more health do these assholes have? Whoa! What the hell was that? Something the fish did. Alright. Hey! Thanks for the help, fish boy. Jerk. Wish you hadn't helped, but okay, since you did. Okay. Oh. <laughs> he was practically dead already. Nothing personnel, kid. Some rough work out there. How'd everything go? A fish got in the way. Splendid as usual. Now we can begin our investigation. Yep. Just think, this freezing cold place was waiting out here for us all this time. Who knows what secrets this land has in store for us? Whether we like it or not, we're going to find out. <laughs> well then, I'm heading back to Estera. Seriously? Someone needs to stay and look over Astera. So I was thinking... This time... You can take the lead. Me? <laughs> Come on. It's not for me. As long as you're here, everything will be fine, right? Besides, ordering someone to be a commander doesn't make them one. <laughs> Maybe so, but this place needs a strong leader to guide it. They'll need you here to guide them. It can't be me because my character can't so. talk and refuses to communicate in any way. <laughs> we'll need you too. Which is the thing with silent right. player protagonists. Well, let's get started. We've got a full house here in Celiana now, and our Legiana investigation has gone into full swing. There's the thing about silent protagonists in games. Like, you think of um, Chrono from Chrono Trigger, for example. He's very communicative because he's got lots of body language. He reacts to things. He expresses himself. Like, Argh. he has a personality underneath there, even though he can't talk. But then there's protagonists like my Hunter and Monster Hunter world, who mostly just like stands around and like nods and like yes i approve like has like vaguely does some like approval things or jumps in front of monsters or whatever but other than that there's no personality whatsoever because of course you're supposed to project your own personality onto them that's part of the point but that does mean like you can't really be a character in the story as such you're just like the engine that drives the plot forward for other characters to react around and have arcs like, for example, Mr. Field Team Leader here, who, like, gets to have a little bit of a character arc from the, like, um, from the vanilla game, where he's, like, this young, impetuous, yeah, like, Hunter looking up, looking up to the leader, and now, oh, he gets to come into his own as a leader of the new settlements. Like, there's, he gets to have something resembling a character arc. We can't, because we don't, like, we can't have any flaws, which we may overcome with time, because we're supposed to project our own onto it, so... So, before we get ahead of ourselves, how about we hear from our newest members? First up, provisions. Our new deputy here will take care of the stockpile in Celiana. Whatever you need, I got it by the pile. And for all your melding needs, Scram here's got you covered. 
Swing by any time to see what's stirring. Next, the captain's best sailor here will be managing shipment requests for the Argosy and harvest requests for botanical research. You come see me anytime. Yeah, you come see me anytime, tough guy. And last but not least, our chef. I love her. We got the best of the best for our canteen in Celiana. She's so good. Look at her. Oh my god. As some of you may know, she's the Astera chef's former mentor. And she's come out of retirement to help us out. Look at her! I love the little pouches that she's got on her belt. Like, it's just little spices and herbs and stuff. That's such a good detail. I'll take charge of the resource center as usual. I still kind of can't get over that apparently Monster Hunter France exists. <laughs> you can still count on me for all your hunter gear. And what do you know? The chief's made it out here too. Don't look so surprised. You know that I'd go anywhere in the noble pursuit of knowledge. And finally, there's me. I'll be keeping everyone safe and sound. You can all relax while I'm on watch. Then why are you still using that, like, bone weapon? That doesn't even look very strong. Well, now that the niceties are out of the way, back to our objective. We've got to figure out why the Legiana have migrated here. Actually, more to the point, why are pe why am I and you wearing our weapons during this meet? Like, you've got knives and a little thing around your arm. Why? Why am I standing around with, like, a 12-ton sword? What's gonna happen? Like, okay, fine. Whatever. And to do that, we've got to find those Legiana. First, I'd like the field team to conduct an expedition into what we're now calling the Hoarfrost Reach. You might find a clue about the Legiana crossing by following any tracks that they may have left out there. Don't forget that this is still uncharted territory. Don't let me catch you being reckless out there. Yes, sir. We'll get started on the expedition right away. I'll be going, too. There's quite a lot I need to see for myself out there. All right, then. Just don't skimp on sending me regular status updates. I guess that about wraps things up, then. Well, let's get to it, I guess. You could say that with more confidence, my friend. Let's head out to the Hoarfrost Reach and try to pick up those Legiana's trail. You already seen the Tech Chief Steam Cut Coup contraption? Apparently he's finished it. So the old man asked me to help you out with it, and I'm like, for sure, I'm there! You'll fill it up with fuel and steam starts billowing up like whoosh, and then you throw the switch all dunk. Anyway, go have a look sometime. It's over by Siliana's gathering hub. Here, I'll give you a cut of the fuel the old coot gave me. Okay. How did they get those gears? Like, metal gear work is not a simple thing to make. Like, it's kind of a complicated process to produce. And we're supposed to be, like, right out on the edges of the frontier here. So I guess they produce it at the old Astera, and then... Uh. God, you're here. Welcome to the Steamworks. All Celiana's powered by steam generated here. So what powers the steam work? Uh, it'd be you, Huntus. Drop by between Huntsland and the hand, eh? I'll see you're a warrior for the help. Gotta do your chores during the allowance, eh? Power generated by the steam works, blah, blah, blah. Can earn items by helping the tech chief with this operation. Drop by between hunts. Producing steam requires fuel, which is generated by completed quests. Or by selecting add fuel. Uh, generate steam power by correctly guessing at what? Why? Oh, no. Guessing a hidden sequence of AX and Y that changes with each turn. Each match will build steam power until the large meter is full. Keep building steam until you send the steamworks into overdrive. Sending the steamworks into overdrive will earn you special items. <laughs> a message will appear at the top of the screen to notify the steamworks are primed for a bonus. Get the sequence of your next guess completely right to light all three indicators and kick the machinery into top gear for a huge burst of steam. The steamworks funnel can tip you off to this. Why? Okay. So I guess I can throw a bunch of old stuff in it. There you go. Okay. Just hammer on whatever button you like in any order you fancy. Get lucky, and you'll get a proper burst of steam for your troubles. <laughs> Here, 
A little something for all the help. Work the machine to build up steam. Repetition's key here. Aye, ah, that's the stuff. Get a full head of steam going, then let her fly. Huh. Smell that? Got lucky. That right there's the heady aroma of a jackpot. Well, that gave me a bunch of stuff, I guess. So that's just what that is. Okay, it's it's like a lottery thing where you convert some old materials into. Uh, I don't know. All right. Okay, talk to you. Hey. Ah, there you are. Already. Uh, it's a reach two. Got something I'm hunting for. There's no guarantee I'll find it, but I'd like to give it a uh, shot. Oh, well, I've got way. you here. Here's a little gift for me. You could do worse than bring a few of these along. Well, see you on the other side. Hot drinks. Yes, please. Thank you. Good. Anyway, blah, 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 Melder, blah, blah, blah. I've never used the Melder for anything, so I don't care. Well, look who it is. You're here. I didn't know you were already out here. Guess I got a little antsy. Let me guess. Chasing after those Legiana. You already yep. know that. We're about to hit the trail now. Well, I got my own investigation to work on. We can compare notes later. I'll leave those Legiana to you two. Yes. All right. I should get moving. I'm heading this way. See you around. I like her. Like, cool, badass okay. older ladies. Let's find those leggy on the tracks, pard. Pard? Just say partner. Okay. But cool, badass older ladies are like... There's a deficit of those characters. In modern video games, just in modern media in general. Ooh, fresh footprints. They look like they're heading this way. More tracks. We're going the right way. Hmm. Different footprints. Dead end. Unless you can fly. I think we're getting past here. Let's keep looking and see what we can find. You need to pick up stuff and mine. Give me things. No. Yes. Oh, yeah, that looks spiky. Let's see what's up Probably shouldn't way. step on that, should I? Wow, it really opens up here. Let's go have a look. Orchid day. Did you see... did something just move out there? Probably, yes. Wait, is that a first Wyvarian? Let's ask about the Legiana. Sup, dude? Hey. How rare. One does not get many visitors. Your friends of the Lone Star? Huh? You seek something, I see. It is not here. Search below. They know its scent. Follow them. 
helpful. So much. But where exactly is below? Well, if I'm any judge. Look, the scout flies are headed down into that cavern. Probably the same place that the big moose thing opened up when it smashed the ground. Is looking into something Seems important like probably own reasons for coming out here maybe she somehow already knew the hinterlands existed time for cutscene that you two would end up here. Yeah. We found some tracks and followed the scout flies. Oh. If that's the case, then we're both heading the same way. You sure about that? I mean, other than that opening, I can't find any other place to go. I'd like to have a look, but... Oh, hello. Doggy. Oh, I like that slow movement. Very intimidating. Very predatory. Guess it'll have to wait. <laughs> Always ready. You with me. Okay. Right, so, uh, same as the other lizard thingies there. Whoa, okay, except you can also do that. Cool. Good to know. What else you got? Jumping around. It's the Toby Kadachi character model, more or less, with a little bit of a palette swap, I guess. Yep, definitely the Toby Kadachi. And then also it can shoot spikes out of its tail, which is bad. Back is vulnerable, the legs are not, it seems. Be nice to do something about that tail. Damn it! It poisoned me. Okay, good. I do not have any antidotes. Whatsoever. Yeah, frankly, I should just get back to the camp and pick up some antidotes. Found ourselves the vi Viper, but uh, he seems to have himself a friend. Oh, oh, hello, hi. How are you? I seem to have interrupted a congress here. Another Anjanath type, I see. Hey, Kadachi. Can I come with you? Away from all of that? Because I agree, it's definitely the better play not to be near it. Anyway, smack! Oh, no, he... Uh, oh, my fucking god. Why do they always follow? Stop traveling in groups, you jerks! Okay, I'll, I'll take the turf war. Although I gotta say, I don't have high hopes for the Tobikadachi on that one. 
Yes, good, go away. Piss off. <laughs> he roared. <laughs> oh, I was hoping he would charge at me. Oh, well. Sup? Now, let's see. Front legs, viable target. But I really want to kill that tail, if possible. Man, that's not hitting the tail at all. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. No meal for you. Did it actually get poisoned? Cool. That rules. Probably not for long, but, you know. you in the poison cloud. Get vulnerable. Jerk. Fuck off! I gotta say, I feel like my damage output is somewhat insufficient.
Ow! Jeez. Okay. My God. At least it's almost dead now. Go to sleep, please. No? Okay. Wouldn't have minded capturing you, but alright. Okay, ostensibly this guy's on his last legs. There we go. Jesus Christ. Good grief, that took a million years. But hey, large vibrant gem, so that's nice. Well, shall we? of our fleets. No, this is older than the commission itself. How can you tell? <laughs> Found you. Take a look at this shard. Never seen anything like it. This handwriting. You've seen it? It was long before the first fleet was dispatched. There was an explorer searching for the new world. <laughs> I hoped our paths would cross again. Let's see. Monsters displaying disturbing behavior. Song. Song? I found a shard. I'm not sure how it was created. I need to check. Sorry, but I can't read the rest. The leggy on his sudden migration. And Song. These notes we found. It's happening right now. So this thing might be the key to this whole mystery. <sighs> Yo! <laughs> We've been looking all over for you guys. 
Whoa, look at this old relic. Um, can you focus on your job, huh? please? Sorry. Astera is calling back its hunters. We need to return ASAP. What? Uh, my grandfathers. I think they're the same. Wait. You're telling me he brought this from the New World? Mm. I thought I was getting closer to the truth. Then we'll get there together. You want to know what really happened, right? Same as me. We won't let this get away from us. Thanks. But... Kid, you either come with me or go home. Don't second-guess yourself. There's no time. Hey, don't worry. I can fill in for you and help while you're gone. For the time being, allow me to be your handler. Oh. Sound good? An offer from the best handler in Astera? <laughs> You'd be crazy to refuse. Well, it would be nice if you need less rescuing than... Thank you so much. ...than my normal handler. Glad to have a partner. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, looks like we're done here. Let's go. Good luck. <laughs> go find out your grandfather's whatever thing. This won't be for nothing. Partner... That's <laughs> blocking the scene <laughs> with my big ass sword. <laughs> it's just <laughs> completely blocking out the camera. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's really funny. I really want, I should really spend some time getting some better equipment because I'm just like, the amount of health these bastards have and the amount of damage that I'm doing. Thanks for coming on such short notice. Now, as for why I called you back. Hold on. Where's the little gourmand? Still finishing off a few steaks at the canteen? Actually, she's engaged in another investigation at the moment. I'll be supporting her partner for the time being. I see. Very well then. Let me fill you in. There have been reports of unidentified subspecies in the Wildspire Waste and the Coral Highlands. One seems to be a subspecies of Paolumu, and the other of Puke Puke. Oh good, the worst monsters to hunt. The analytics division theorizes that the sudden appearance of new subspecies may be linked to whatever caused the Legiana crossing. Their theory is that some sort of change in the environment has upset their normal behavior. Therefore, we need to take these developments seriously. Seeing as how you'd witnessed the altered Legiana firsthand, I thought you'd be perfect. Understood. Then my temporary partner here will hunt the subspecies, while I provide support and compile detailed reports for analytics. Very well. I'm counting on you two. But again, speaking to the Been story. With investigating the new subspecies, I look forward to working with you, a uh, temporary partner. Think about character, like, the whole thing about, like, she has this stone and her grandfather found it and he brought it from the new world and she's searching for the truth behind the family history thing. Like, all of that is, it's, it's sort of, you can see where the storytelling is basically using the handler as a substitute main character. Because, again, we can't be that because we have to be a complete blank slate for the player. Um, so it, instead, the game basically substitutes in the handler as the character who has, like, a reason for going to the new world and, like, a mystery that is neat, that is unfolding and some reason to investigate, like, all the strange behaviors of the monsters beyond our character who's just, like, pretty much just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a hunter and I want to hit monsters with my sword, uh, <laughs> which is, like, all the motivation that we display over the course of the game, which is, like, natural. Well... That got us a little bit further into Monster Hunter World. Got a couple of hunts under our belts. Some expeditions and a mounting consciousness that, boy howdy, I just don't do enough damage with the stuff I've got to be effective against these frickin' monsters because they have health pools the size of oceans. And also, like, I've forgotten so much of how to optimize my damage output on this weapon, so... 
Ah, I guess there's nothing for it but to practice, is there? Anyway, if you have enjoyed uh, messing around in Monster Hunter World with me, then uh, like, comment, and subscribe down below with the buttons because of the pressing of the things and stuff. Uh, which is good, because make algorithm good, happy thing. I have a Patreon and a merchandise store in a tip jar. You can use them if you want to. Memberships are available on this channel. You can use those if you want to, and if you don't, that's completely okay as well. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to wash your hands and have solidarity with those who are making quite a bit of an effort nowadays to make the world a better place.